Welcome everybody to Dreamscape 3. Last week, the party actually escaped. Uh, well, they didn't really escape. They sort of just, they sort of, uh, sort of just quickly walked away from uh, the city's uh, guard and chief of police and into the Oracle's library where, you know, they eventually asked the Oracle some questions, namely, where is Mayard and how can Jacob Kane get back to his time and or dimension? And which he was happy to give those answers. Uh, and right as they gave the answers, the whole city was attacked by a entity named Lucid. And he has with him an army of aberrations. And these aberrations attacked the library. Uh, I guess he figured that he was going to be able to take the Oracle into custody. But the party, being the heroes that they are, was able to defend. But it was quite the ordeal. And here we are. No. I'm very weak. I'm very weak. That's the, that's the voice I use. <laughs> I'm not doing so good. What I think my happened? old body's catching up to me. Can you walk? Uh, at least for a little while longer. If you would allow, I can heal. Appreciate it. As I place just the not that not that one. Is it this one? Is it It is this one. Okay. Because I'm gonna cast that one. Alright. Healing energy radiates from you in an aura within 30 feet radius. So y'all can just kind of pick amongst yourselves. Ooh, but... I'll take some of that. How many, uh, there's, how many there's, get? there's 10 sets of 2d6. So uh, I, if I need to cast it twice, just let me know. I'll take Two of the sets, I guess. Okay, so that's 4d6. Take one, dude. I'll take two. Okay, so that's... Uh, Jake's got 2d6. Um, oh, Horace has 4d6. Hell yeah, 12. So there's five left. I'll, I'll take them. <laughs> I'm take all of them? Yeah, yeah Vindrick, dude, you're looking like shit, bro. If I had to put a number on it, out of 102, I'm at 20, 28. <laughs> I, I'm still a little rough. I might put, I might, I might lay hands on myself. Horace is going to go in the corner, uh, with his back, like with his back to everyone, and he's going to lay hands on himself for a little bit. <laughs> hey man, what, what you doing over there, man? Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Hey, hey, me and we hold out of you, man. You got something good? Uh, horse will look over his shoulder at Dwarfdale. He looks considering for a second, and he's like, "No, nah, I'm good, dude." Okay, man. Quick thing, Nate. Yes. That's how uh, Bradshaw's house. How far away is it from here, like time wise? Time wise, probably a twenty minute walk. Twenty minutes. All right. Because that's gonna determine what what I'm about to cast. But what are you trying to What are you trying to do? Uh, I got an hour long cast of something, so I was determining if it was good for me to do it now or do it later. Uh. Bye. Okay. Will it help if I I is just gonna like reach over to see that you're still hurt? Um and Don't we'll worry, leave. I I got it, Aya. Mm. And he's gonna pull out uh, a, a 
bottle of alcohol and he's going to drink it. Uh, and I'm going to upcast this, which is a spell we very rarely use. Uh, false life. I'm going to cast it at fifth level. Oh, fun. Ooh. So that is. That is five plus. Oh, that makes that easy. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 temporary hit points. Well, damn. I just got on hand for right now. I will use cure wounds on myself. Then. That's a first level spell we never use, but it's good at higher level. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. The Oracle sure walks the out. OK, she walks out and Clayton's behind and she's like, oh, I knew you guys had it in you. Are you all right, Madam Oracle? Oh, I'm totally fine. Uh, you all best be getting on your way. Will you two be able to make an escape? Oh, I know the way. I'm, I imagine you would. Farewell and thank you for your foretelling. We will, uh, we'll, we'll go with you for a time, but, uh, I'm, our paths will split at a certain point. I'm hoping that with, you could conceal yourself a bit more. I can pose as you for the time being, so this way you can make an escape. Well, as sure. She, she actually looks identical to the, to the Oracle. She goes, that's a lovely trick. But uh, I assure you it won't be necessary. I'll just simply avoid them. Well, she sort of like claps her hands and she goes, right. you'd best be on your way. You don't have much time at all. Let's Three. make our way to Bradshaw's, dudes. Yeah, guys, we should probably do that, you know? All right. Be on your guard. You guys... I'm going to get on my rhino. Hell yeah. You guys hear, uh, like, yelling and stuff in the distance. Like, uh, like people are shocked and, and scared of these aberrations that are overrunning the town and the guard, you know, potentially battle sounds and whatnot. Yeah, at least the police will be distracted. Yes, but I'm, I'm more worried of the people. They're innocent. How long is it to that Bradshaw place? Uh, probably a 20, 20, 30 minute walk. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just kind of walk up to uh, Garrett's character. Hey, hey. <laughs> Uh, you, you mind carrying this lamp? Yeah, I don't mind. Ah, right, cool. I need a rest. As Bull goes in, it's like, our best with lamp. <laughs> are, multiple people, oh books he stole. are multiple people able to come in there with you and, and get a short rest in short time, or how does that work? I don't yeah, I get... could. Good? Oh, yeah. Is, ooh, yeah, God. it's all. Uh, who pops his head out? <laughs> Anyone I else? could. Um, I can allow uh, four others. It's kind of tight in space in here. So, uh, Jake, you're cool. We you're do. Jake, right? Yeah, I'm a little out of breath too, dude. But yeah, you can call me Jake. I would say. I would you want say a book? I got, I, I got new books. Don't ask where. I'd say what were we gonna say, who, Garrett? I was gonna say I'd say anybody who benefits more from a short rest probably should. Yeah, like, you know if it's not just I mean if you need hit die or to spend hit die, you can. But I'm yeah. saying like I need spells. Get, like oh, I recharge this on a short rest. Yeah, something. I figure recharging key like, points is a good thing. Yeah, I don't need hit points. I need just need my spell slots. 
I was going to say, you didn't get hit a single get time. His exactly. Wild shapes back. Yeah. If you used them. I don't remember if he did. Anyone else needs uh, short rest abilities back? I will uh, be scouting the way. Well, technically, I'm the only other person who would, because I can use arcane recovery. No, we can give the knife to Horus. Either one. You can hang I it from the rhinoceros well. horn. No, I don't trust you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, we can't trust you. You're Faye adjacent. Yeah. It's, well, it spits on the ground. I spit in the general direction of the Faye. <laughs> I am just going to ignore that. And I'm just going to, like... I can't spit. I'm an owl. As I'm just gonna like walk and stand if next to the If I wasn't an owl, I would spit on you. <laughs> right. I'm I'm like, like, I'm regurgitate, right? Like my... <laughs> yeah, I regurgitate. I don't poop. Is that true? Yeah, all my I like I eat stuff and it goes in my stomach, and then once I'm full and like it's like completely digested, I throw it up. What do you do? You like you're like a dude. My what? Cloaca. <laughs> yeah, you have a what? Your cloaca. <laughs> <Yeah>, what? <laughs> My what? Your butthole? Why are you guys talking about butts? You know, we are very you... short on time. Oh yeah, dudes. <laughs> Hold on, best dude, you going, dude. just smoking. <laughs> well, hop up, hop up on my rhino as we go. I have some questions for you. Uh, no, I'm gonna be in my ramp. I got some new books I'm gonna be reading. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be resting. Uh, Jake, come on in. All right, Jake will just, hop in know. and he'll he'll rest by. Praying to Yasni the whole time. So oh, wait, can, how many people can get in there? Can I come? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you can come in. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just I'm hang the lantern in. on the rhino's horn. Yeah. Yeah, no, right. yeah, yeah. Hey, you want rhino? Do you have, uh, do you have the word of Yasni? I don't know. I just took some books from the shitty library. Oh, let's check them out. Yeah, as well close as the lamp. All right. And when we rest oh. in the lamp, we get the benefits of a long rest or something, no, right? No, sure. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll roll some hit dice then. Did Vendrick go in there or is Vendrick... Yeah, I imagine Vendrick went in if we're putting on the rhino's horn. Yeah, and we have the oracle and her bodyguard, technically, too. Like, at least for this initial waltz. Yeah, yeah. they'll take us over there. I no, I mean, they'll lead the rhino. Yeah. I trust the rhino more than them. I suppose we are walking this lamp. Shall we make our egress? Well, they t they told me I wasn't allowed to carry it. So, either you can, or we can put it on the rhino. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean... Uh... We'll give it to Dwarfadil. Now, um... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man. Uh, yeah. He'll, uh, Dragul will hang the lantern on the rhino's horn. Since there's nowhere else on it to hang it. I hope it'll be safe there. Um, Goodness I... knows what would happen if it were to break. I'm going to be honest, it looks more like a target on top of the rhino's face, but God forbid, hopefully they're paying attention to, you know, the two oracles walking around. Yes. Yeah. You guys want some cucumbers? It really helps you relax. I'm oh. <laughs> reviewing my spellbook. <laughs> so yeah, Dragul is ah. going to follow the oracle and her bodyguard, and as he does... Uh, Tootsie will appear in a waft of frost walking next to him. Ooh. And she'll just be like, Ow! That hurt! Yes, I am sorry, Tootsie. It was most shameful. But adventuring is a dangerous business. You know this. At least you are not real. Tootsie looks a little sad, but 
she seems to understand. Hmm. Do you mind if I grab a smoke, too? Oh, uh, yes. She hands you, she's like, help yourself. And she pulls out a, uh, a, a warl blow red and passes it to you. As Speaking of real, is this place even real? Oh, are it's we, real, all right. Are we in a dream? You're in the dream, she says. Uh, Clayton grabs a library card and gives it to you, Aya. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll put this. Is it this one different from another one? Uh, no, you know, no, they're all the same. Uh, the Oracle just told me while we were in the closet that you wanted one. Yes, um, this, this is good. Thank you. I, it's good to have a focal point if I'm, if I'm walking or dream walking. Oh. It, it encourages to go in a direction. And then if I, hopefully, if I want to come back here, I can use it as a focus. I, I'm not sure you'll be able to come back here, but it, it'd be good for, you know, feel free to give it a try. Uh, and then with that, he just sort of, you know, they just sort of walk on out. And I assume that you guys are, uh, everyone's going, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Even the rhino. Even the rhino. You get outside and visibility isn't that great. The, uh, the cloud is over the whole city. Uh, you're hearing sounds of battles, you know, many, you know, several blocks over. Um, the screeching of these nasty creatures uh, and bellowing. So it, it's safe to say that the, the town is basically a, a, a war zone right now. Um, but you know how to get to Bradshaw's mansion, his estate. So, uh, you know, you sort of head on in that direction. And, uh, you know, after about 10 minutes of walking, uh, you're kind of running from uh, alleyway to alleyway and, uh, you, you know, down the street, getting closer and closer. You're, you feel like you're getting closer to a battle. We're still in the, we're still in the lantern, right? Tootsie. Fly up yes. and see if you see anything. And uh, as we're scampering along, Tootsie will take flight and fly over top of the houses and see if she can scope anything ahead of the crowds in the buildings. All right. Uh, Tootsie goes up there, uh, roll a, well... It's probably fine. I bet you see it. Yes. Tootsie goes up and immediately flies right back down to you guys. Uh, and, you know, Tootsie's kind of out of breath and says that she sees helpless people being attacked by the aberrations just down the street. As news, boss. Tootsie, how many of them are in trouble? And how many of their attackers? Uh, Tootsie says it's many attackers. And probably probably about five people. Dragul will look to Aya. I do not think we can prevail in this situation. Shouldn't, shouldn't we attempt to? To what? If there's people that, ha that need help, shouldn't we help? I think at this juncture, this city may be lost. It will be up to them to fend for themselves. You have 
very similar logic to someone very dear to me. Mm. If, if it's in your best judgment. We will try to find a way around. How long do you guys have to be in the... Uh, in, in the... I think it's 15 minutes. 15 no, minutes? No, it's 10. 10, 10. minutes? Yeah, it's I would say that you're you're more than rest. halfway there. So I would say that if you all want to spill out of the spill out of the lantern, you're welcome to. All right. Time's I'll up. spill on out. You hear uh you hear uh fighting and uh Dwarfidil actually you hear the girl from you rec you actually recognize her voice. You hear the girl from the apothecary shop yell out Help! Oh no! Help, Help us! Me in. We gotta save her, man. Where did we? Uh... Bye. Go ahead and set yourself over here, uh, anywhere you want. And also, it's initiative time because there is a battle. <laughs> Dragul looks oh, to Aya man. as everybody rushes towards the battle. It seems the decision has made for been made for us. And uh he'll pull out the broken sword. There we go. Do you happen to see a do you happen to see a bow by any chance? During your perusing about? Here. Yes, here. Of mine. What's that, that Vendrick? Vendrick just goes, here. And he passes you a bow, Aya. Uh, it's a long bow, but more importantly, it's an enhanced long bow. So there's Hell like yeah. runes and stuff on it. It's a Ooh. plus one magical weapon with repeating ammo. So you Ooh. don't need a, uh, it's, I think this one, yeah. I have a long bow with that on it. I've literally never had a chance to use it. So if somebody else can, great. That's badass. What's the <laughs> range on a long bow? Fucking far, farther than this map. Yep. Oh okay. damn. Isn't it like uh, 120 yeah. or 150? It is. Damn, I didn't write it down. Oh, it's, and it's 150, a... and then 600 is the max range. And it's a, it's a D8, right? It's a D8, and it's a plus one weapon. Okay. All Anything right. Anything else on it? Uh, it's you don't need ammo. It just generates ammo. All right. Perfect. All right, you guys look down the street running towards this battle. You see uh, what looks like Tiny standing in front of, uh, standing in front of uh, Gnome, Agatha, Darla, and John. And also somebody you don't really recognize, but it looks like a bunch of the Gru are trying to get at them. And uh, there's a couple of soldiers here and there. And you see this big Hulk uh, smash down this guard. And then he looks over at you guys. Uh, you hear the, the 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 yelling and the chirping from the little goblinoids, and uh, it's a uh, yeah, it's initiative time. So you all are in there. Let me roll the initiative for these little Gru. Bitch goes to that, and then. There we go. All right. This guy smashes the guard and then um, looks back over at you guys. And uh, and yeah, Aya. Or are we going to sort oh, these? I have to sort these. Orders? Did I press it? I thought I pressed it. Okay. You now clicked should... uh, descent or ascending instead of descending. I see. All right. Well, <laughs> cue battle music. Uh, Aya. What do you do? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got mistaken. Dragul. I apologize. All right. Um, I think to start with, Dragul is going to reach down and cast Long Strider at level two on him and Tootsie. Okay.
So that's an action. And he's going to move up. So it's you flying behind, coming up ahead. All right. And then I don't think that he really has any decent bonus actions to do right this second. Well, right as you pop up around that corner, another one of these guys appears. All right. And you hear the chirping and screeching. Yes, I remember that. Um, hold on. Hold on a okay, uh, I don't believe I have any uh, bonus actions. And I used my action up, and I need to go feed the animals. So uh, All that right. will be your ghoul's turn. All right, Horus. All right, Horus is going to go yeah with his um, with his heels into the side of the rhinoceros, having it charge. All right. Uh, we're going to go the 40 feet of movement that the rhino has, and then, of course, we are going to dash as our action to get up to here. Uh, as, I, as I stampede past Dwarfadil, I am going to shout over my shoulder, I don't think she's into short guys. Uh, and then I'm going to... I think if I'm... Can I be in this square since I'm on its back here so I can hit this guy? Sure. Yeah. Can you attack yeah. with your dad even though you dashed? Well, the rhino dashed. I see. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the rhino. Yep, go ahead. Otherwise, no, because I'm not a... Actually, I'm going to use my bunner. No, I'm just going to whack him. Uh, 26 hits. Oh, it's no Hunter's Mark. Uh, All right, but you do seven, right? Well, I do seven, but I also get the improved Divine Smite. So it is 10, but it's okay. not 13. All right. All right. Uh, and if he's still up, I, I will whack him again. Oh, yeah, you better. Maybe. <laughs> uh, that actually does hit. These guys are. Oh, crazy. yeah. There we go. All right. You instantly kill this guy, smash him to pieces. And I shout, in the name of Yasni. In the name of Yasni. All right. It's this guy's turn. Uh,. As you, uh, as he looks, sees you kill the guy uh, who is his, you know, compatriot, he rushes at you. And uh, in this moment, you see uh, more creatures peek their heads up over the, uh, over the rooftops. And they're basically all around you. But seeing as uh, it's this guy's turn, they can't really do anything yet. But the Hulk comes over here, and he uh, he uh, reaping arms. He makes a slam against you, your Rhino, Tootsie, and Dragoon. So, oh man, you, your Rhino, Tootsie, oh. and Dragoon. Okay, so the 17 misses me. Okay. Um, oh, do I... I don't have haste on it. I'm no longer hasting, but it still misses me. Okay. But the, obviously the 29 is going to hit my rhino. <laughs> sure. All right, so that's uh, 27. 27? Ooh! 27. Ooh, okay. Dragul? Tootsie, are you here? Uh, I'm pretty sure he is helping the animals right now. So when he gets back, we'll, we'll do that. But we will call that turn for now. Uh, let's see. Each creature that 
that is hit must also succeed on a DC 17 saving throw or be knocked prone. So I think your Rhino must uh, succeed on a DC 17, Brad. Oh, yeah. And that's a dex, dex save. Dex save. Rhinoceroses are not particularly dexterous. Although, hey. Google. Wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Rhino not knocked prone. So that's funny. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's turn. Jacob Kane. All right. Jacob Kane is going to spend a key to dash as a bonus action. And right. uh, run into battle. And then he'll unsheath perfection and slash at the big Hulk. All right. Fifteen. Uh, I need you to roll that at disadvantage because of the shrieking oh, all around. Okay. You. Yeah. Uh, I'll just roll it again. Yes. Hey. Unfortunately, <laughs> that doesn't hit. The screeches get inside your head, and it you you, you miss because of a, a strange distraction. Uh, and unfortunately, perfection. All right. You for this. Well, being uh, let me go ahead and mark that down real quick. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, uh, not only now realizing uh exactly how horrid those screeches are i'm gonna use my last 10 feet of movement to try to get further away which i don't think is quite enough but i will then make some unarmed strike or one unarmed strike at the guy the tank all right at disadvantage okay that still hits and i pounce him um i will yeah i'll give it a whirl i'll try to stunning strike him once all right. He's got to make a con save. Yep. All right. Pretty good at that, but we'll see. All right, he's fine. Ooh, he's not stunned. Is it for me, dudes. All right. All right, Ool. You're up. Uh, Ool's going to go, huh, why do these things? And just dump the books out of his lamp that he stole um and he's just gonna eldritch blast this guy all right just boom boom Ooh. unfortunately both of them miss they just boom smash into the ground on either side yeah he was just blasting while dumping the books that he wasn't really paying attention so yeah. that's it for wool okay uh christoph's back going. christoph's back if you want to hurt him oh yes christoph Yes. Uh, yeah, get the, his ass. The, the, uh, the guy ran up and did a reaping arms attack. So each uh, Tootsie and Dragul take either a 20 or a 22. So it's just one. One goes to Tootsie and one goes to Dragul. 20 and okay. 22. All right. 20 and 22. I will mark that down. No, no, not damage. It's, it's wondering if it hit. Oh, I mean, there's, uh, I'll tell you what, um, Dragul will pop a protective wings on Tootsie, uh, to pop her AC up to 22. Okay. Um, and then, so he'll take the one hit. Okay. That. Oh wait, it's actually only 16 damage. That's it's only 16. 16? Yes. All right, and then that's uh that's the end of that. So Vendrick. Okay. Uh, do you think I could make it up on top of here, this like lower roof, if I like ran and jumped? Uh, I would bet you could. All right. Vendrick You'd have to do a pull-up, deep... which is surprise. You know, it's difficult for an old man, but you can do it. He, he cracks his back, 
takes a deep breath, hums quietly to himself as he enters Blade Song, uh, which does uh, give me advantage on acrobatics checks. Uh, <laughs> as he runs and sort of leaps up onto here, uh, grabbing it with two hands and then sort of flipping himself up on it. Hell yeah. Um, and I have 10 more movement, I believe. So five, 10, 20, 20, 30, 5, 40. I'll get to here. Um, I can see these fellas, can I? Yes. All right. Sorry if it seems like it's taking me a second. I'm trying to debate. Yeah, that could be cool. Fuck it. I've never gotten to use this. Vendrick, with his free hand, sort of carves out a rune similar to the telekinetic one he had, or he does when he pulls people or pushes them. Mm -hmm. um, as a soft wind appears around him before it bursts in a huge straight line. Um, as a gust of wind uh, is shot between these two. Okay. So both of them need to make strength saves or be knocked 15 foot uh, away. Okay, one got a zero, so he's knocked 15 feet. Oh, and my Five, DC is 17. Yep, and then so, so does the other guy. 5, 10, yeah. 15. He gets knocked onto this, uh, looks like a, a cart tent. Yeah, boom, as this huge like gust of wind blasts them away. And there's this kind of swirling wind around Vendrick uh, because I'm I'm concentrating on it technically, so I can do it again next turn as a bonus action. Cool. All right. Uh, All that's right. it for Vendrick. I. Uh... I'm probably gonna regret doing this, but I'm gonna go right here, and as a action. I'm going to use my channel divinity and I'm gonna snuff out all the light within 30 feet around me. All of the light around you, you're gonna snuff it out? Yeah, um, well, specifically, uh, like, it's the one that I'm carrying, but it's, uh, I can snuff out any uh, magical or mundane light within 30 feet, and doing so creates the uh where they have to make a constitution save or be blinded for 10 rounds oh. and it's and it's all the enemies within 30 feet of me all enemies within 30 feet let me, let me read this a little bit better uh let's make a con save Bills. dang that's pretty dope all right a creature that has total cover from you is not affected uh hmm these guys, I would say, would have cover from you because you're on the ground. And, Is it you know, total cover, though? This guy's still on a roof. This guy's around a corner. So uh, I would say if you had a bow, you certainly wouldn't be able to shoot it either. Yeah, guys. total cover means that you can't, you don't have a line of sight of them. Okay. Like Do I see at least any of these guys because it's slanted on this side? Yeah. Any of these guys on the roof, I guess, see her. Yeah. Maybe this one? This one? Please. Probably not this guy in the back, but the other two can see you. And of course, you see this this big guy as well. Well, the big guy is the big one. I If I can get him blind, that'd be great. Okay. All right, well, let's go for that then. The con save. Boom. He got a 24. Uh, and then these two grew. Uh, con save and con save. So one of them is blinded. I'm gonna say it's this guy right here. Uh, how do I get that vision? Where's the vision? Let's see. That looks pretty I think cool. there's an eyeball. There's gotta be an eyeball. Uh, yeah, it's right next to the crouching and the flag. There we go. I see it. All right, this guy's blinded and he's just shrieking. He's shrieking anyway. So what is he? Is he just blinded? He is just blinded. He gets a new save at the end of each of its turns. Okay. Sounds good. Do you do anything else? I used an action. Um, bonus action. You know, a bonus action will cast a spell. Good old handy dandy spiritual weapon. Perfect. As Where do you put I'm, that? I'm going to put it on the opposite side of the Hulk. All right. Bing bang wahoo. 
the same as before. And it'll make an attack. Spiritual weapon. Twenty-four hit the Hulk. Uh, it does. All right. Ten force damage. All right. Mark that down. Dwarfadil. Uh, Dwarfadil can, you, can you make me a token real quick and defer my turn before the next enemy? I got. I got a thing I want to do. It's just gonna take a minute, and I need to. Get need a token to do it. Yeah, just like a blank, blank empty, like, character sheet. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Fast PC. It's going to be next to the Rhinoceros. Just an NPC? Is that what you want? Uh, just something I can, like, edit. It could be a character. All right. Or, uh, what's the Rhino? Uh, under player character. Well, you probably can't see it. I, yeah, I can't uh, see that right now. I will edit this uh, and put it in Dwarfadil's journal. And it can be edited by Dwarfadil. All right, okay. it can be called Perfect. Icky Vasily, I guess. All right, I got it. Cool. So you're just going to go next? Uh, l let me go before the uh, next enemy. so I can Basically after this. Horror. I see. Yeah, okay. after Horror, so I can just prep this real quick. Okay. Uh... I just noticed that the Gru aren't on the care aren't on the uh, aren't on the the turn order. Oh. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think they rolled an eight, so they would be going next anyways. Uh, but let me quickly roll that room. I figured you were doing that thing where they just go on the uh, on its turn, but no, uh, you got a five. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. They popped out last turn. That was their <laughs> their action. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so what are these guys going to do? They're just going to be shrieking and being annoying. Uh, the, uh, these guys are going to... Let's see, this guy... Uh, he's going to dash along this uh, this pathway. He's probably going to actually just stop right there. Uh, this guy is going to hop down, and he's going to attack the rhino with his confounding bite, which is a 13. Brad, I don't know if that hits. Probably not. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Uh, Jacob Kane, you are bitten with a 13, so that's almost surely a miss. Yep. This guy is going to run up to uh, Vendrick and try to confounding bite him with a 15. The deflect. Flex. And uh, yeah, the the swarm is coming. Another bite on the rhino for a ten. Sir. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's what they do. Uh, and it's uh, let's see, uh, Dragul's turn. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I did y'all get my message that I put in there. No, I didn't, you know, I, I guess I didn't see it. Emergency uh, dog walk. Yeah, I just gotta do an emergency dog walk, so I'm out. I'm not at the computer. I don't know if anybody has that character sheet, but... If, if you could just, I don't know, move him out, out of the way somewhere, he'll take the tax of opportunity or whatever. Well, you could, you could, you uh, could just take the disengage. dodge action. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, if anybody could just, uh, just, 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 Hmm. I feel like these Guru are going to potentially be annoying because they confuse me. I become confused. You but hear all the screeching. I hear all the screeching, but uh, I'm going to have the Rhino sort of do a, a turn, and he's going to try and gore this one right here. Okay. 
attack ah. 20, you run him up on your horn. All right. For 13 bludgeoning damage, I guess. Roger that. Uh, but Horus himself is going to focus on this guy over here. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to, and by this guy over here, I mean the big, big, big boy. I'm gonna try and whack him with my war hammer. All right. Hey, hey. Go ahead and roll that at disadvantage, though. Oh. Since the screeching that's right. is. Uh, that's right. After you. A uh, 15. Unfortunately, that is a miss. All right, but I do have extra attack, which I will use. On big guy <laughs> again. On big guy again. This time for the Unfortunately, you get such a headache from these Gru screeches. He grins at you. Oh. What a and day. In turn, he bashes oh. your Rhino with a slam. My turn, Nate. Oh, go ahead. Sorry for going out of order. I feel like y'all love this. <laughs> I'm going to conjure Woodland Beings. Oh, man. OK. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. He's a little tree man. <laughs> Look at all these stumpies, dude. Do they just I feel like they appear and they just keep going, hey man, hey man, hey man, hey man. Hey man. Hey man. <laughs> what the fuck? Get out of How many of these do you summon? I get to summon eight. <laughs> nice. And they're all gonna summon just right around this big guy. You hear me? Get him for his man. <laughs> Stumpy <laughs> appears. Do they attack? Yes, they can attack. Okay. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna roll. Uh. Eight d twenty. All right. Uh. What's this guy's yeah. AC? Well, you. Is it just a, a 1d20 for an attack? Um, so they're all going to make longsword. It's plus two to hit. Can they hear? Uh, yes, they can hear. Then uh, they, they the screeching will make it all all of their attacks at disadvantage, unfortunately. OK, uh, we'll take the first. Just roll uh, another uh, another eight. Yeah, because that means four of them basically already have their rules. Okay, so first one miss, second one hit, okay. third one miss, fourth one miss, fifth miss, sixth miss, seventh miss, eighth miss. So one hits. Okay. Um, and then a longsword is 1d8. That is so funny. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy gets pricked. Uh, and he is now 3 HP less damage. Uh, he... First, he, he rolls to see if he recharges his attack. Which he does. And then... He promptly reaping arms again. And everything within the radius of him... Uh, will take a slam attack. So I'm going to start from this guy and go <laughs> oh, <God>. clockwise. <laughs> One on stump. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to click it again. Uh, slam on Stumpy. Stumpy 2. Stumpy 3. Jacob Kane, which yes. is clearly a miss. Perfect. Stumpy. The other Stumpy. And the last Stumpy, and then it will be uh, Brad, and then Brad's Ooh. Rhino, and then right. Stumpy, and then Stumpy. Okay, so four of my Stumpies are basically dead. Okay. Uh, it misses Jacob Kane, and uh, Brad did 21, the... Uh, 21, 21, does, a, a 21 does hit me. 24 definitely hits the Rhino. Okay. 21 
and then that's 13 damage. And 13 to me. 15 to your rhino. All right, 15 to rhino. Oh, rhino's looking sad over here. Oh. That makes me a sad rhino. It does. But Ryan, uh, but Jacob Kane. Oh, uh, sorry. I also forgot. Everybody who was hit uh, needs to make a DC dex save. Oh, that's right. Uh, now, you guys do have a plus four aura of protection. Uh, on now, that's team if one. You're, if you're within range of me. Oh, this is not. I think it's just you and your rhino, dude, because the other guys my rhino, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I made it, and the rhino. Shit. I accidentally closed the rhino's tab. What? Give me this. Oh, the rhino is dex saving. Oh! Oh! Oof. The rhino falls over. Now, do I fall off the rhino if it goes prone? I have never experienced this before. Yeah. Has anyone yes, else? Yes, you do fall off the rhino. I'm going to say I've. I think I'm you, gonna say you get that your is. leg pinned like in the movies. You I'll say I jump. I'll, I'll say I he jump. Has to, he has to make a DC 10 dex save uh, or be knocked prone as well as it falls. Ooh. Ah, okay, okay. Well, good thing you have plus four. Oof. Oof. Good thing I have okay, you're fine. Fours. I barely. You almost jinxed him. You definitely oh. jump off and take the space that Stumpy used to. Wait, does my Sea Dwarf plate give me disadvantage on dex save? It doesn't. You're just very slow. I'm just slow. As I do a tuck and roll and hop off of the rhinoceros. Rhinoceri. All right. All right, Jacob Kane. Horus, dude, you and the stump boys got this one. I'll be right back. I'm going to walk over here and uh, <laughs> I'm going to make a slash with perfection at the one north of me. Uh, is this a disadvantage or normal? This would be at normal. Okay. Now, I do have a question. Do you, when you move away from him, does that provoke opportunity? It, it's only His when he's got a range of 10. Reach. He's, yeah, he's got a range okay. of 10, so I think I'm I'm good for now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, if go he ahead. moves a five foot more, he would get hit. Because it's, it. it's when you move out of range. Okay. 14. 14? That does hit. Hell yeah. Me. Bam. The uh, the spirit inside claps his hands for you and says, "Well done, young Jake." And uh, you get your plus one back. And then, uh, but this guy is still up. Well, I'll, I'll swing at him again. Hell yeah! 20... Oh, that hits. Thirteen. Days. You lop his head clean off. Update my bonus. Here we go. And then uh, my, what is it? My bonus action, unarmed strike, punch this other guy. Punch him. I think that's a miss. Uh, that miss is unfortunately. I'll get you next time, dude. That's Jacob Kane. <laughs> he just screeches and chatters at you. Uh, but ooh, what are you up to? You see your books on the ground. That's not mine. You see the books you stole on the ground. They aren't his anymore. You threw or you them on the ground. Them out. Yeah, I don't you know where You checked out the books, and then I don't know where you don't have any intention from. of bringing them back to the library. That's fine. I have, I have no idea where those books came from. I have every intention of knowing where those books came from, I guess. Uh, I'm going to blast that big guy. All right. Both are going to hit. Cool. Mark that down. Now you're going to get pushed 25 feet. Uh, can he be pushed through other people? No. I don't think he can. An unoccupied space, right? I guess no more. It's, uh... Oh, yeah, it's unoccupied, but is the space 25 feet away from the unoccupied, though? I will say that the, the weird part about this is that it is a spiritual weapon that is blocking his, his movement. 
Well, it's it is. a weapon. So, you can go it's, through it. Yeah, yeah but you can it's... can move through it, I believe. But the thing it's, says to an case. unoccupied space. It doesn't say anything about anything in the process of that space. Well, still, he would move here, which is unoccupied. Yeah. You know what? I think that's perfectly acceptable. Well, Bird, but yeah. He passes through, spiritual weapon, uh, not harming him. Uh, but you knock him back, and I, I assume the rhino's pretty pleased about that. Uh, but uh, go ahead. Uh, I think that's your turn, right, Ul? Uh, yeah, Ul's going to nudge the books away from him, and that'll be it. Okay. Move it off with your toe. Vendrick. All right, Vendrick is going to move himself here. Right. Uh, and I think I'm gonna have Bendrick. Oh yeah, I can. I finally get to use this. He uh, his blade sparks with uh, fire. Um, as he is going to use uh, three, three blade. Uh, so first attack will be green flame blade. 28! That certainly hits. Alright, he'll hit the uh, uh, this guy here. Okay. Ooh. Damn, I just did the fire. Hold on. It was, it's... There it is. Is that 30? Is that a 32 damage? Yeah. That's 26 damage is what it is. Okay, but no fire? No, I, I accidentally clicked the fire thing. Oh, wait, no, that was it. So after the flame hits him from the attack, it jumps over to a creature within five feet, which is uh, 2d8 plus my thing, which is five. So it'd be 11 damage to this one and 26 damage to that one. All right. The one next to you immediately obliterated. <laughs> the other one next to you, still up. But uh, right. he doesn't know what happened because he was blind. He's blind. Do I get advantage against him if I attack him? I don't He's know. Blind. I don't know what the status is for, for blind. I think so. Let me double check. Blind is them. Like one of those things we don't really work with. We don't run into uh, all that. Blind much. creatures can't see, fail uh, ability to attack. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and yep. attacks from the creature have disadvantage. All right. All right. All right. Swinging that sword. You hit him again. Hit him. Uh, I don't have. Let me uncheck the green flame blade because I don't have it this time. 14. All right. This guy also killed. All right. And then this fucker up here, Vendor puts his hand out and. Uh, he is going, because he's still concentrating on it, he's going to yeah. gust of wind, so Strength Saber be knocked 15 feet away as he blows this thing Hell yeah. with this huge gust of wind. With a three, and you want to blow him away from you? Well, he has to blow away from me, so it's oh, going to okay. like hurl him Boom. off of this thing. He like gets blown back 15 feet. And, uh, does he take damage? Uh, yeah, I'll say he takes 1d6. Go ahead and roll that. Hell yeah. Sick. He, he takes the max. He up. fell right on his head, dude. And then Vendrick is running over here. Uh, he has just a little bit more movement. He's just going to kip down uh, to join into the fray here. All right. Cool. All right, Aya. What All do right. you do? Aya's going to back up a little bit. Um, bonus action. This spiritual weapon is just going to move a little bit. Right. And it's going to hit, or it's going to attack. It's going to attack, I guess, with disadvantage. Can a spiritual weapon be disadvantaged? I probably can't hear, so it's probably fine, actually. 24 hits. Okay. It's going to do 9 force damage. Oof. Got him. And Aya is more than 20 feet away from any group. That's true. As I'm gonna do a longbow. Yes. Or 
10 piercing. Hell yeah. Hits him right in the shoulder. Ugh. But uh, is that turn? That is turn. All right. The Gru, move over here, Aya. Actually, he's going to hop down right in front of you and give you a give you a confounding bite for an 11, which is probably a miss. Nope. All right. Uh, let's see. One of these is going to bite Jacob Kane. Probably a miss. Uh, one is going to bite at the Rhino with advantage. Oop. I guess that, I think that's going to hit Rhino, right, Brad? Yeah. Okay. Uh, fourth piercing. That is going to be enough. No. Yeah, the Rhino is the... It's prone. It's lying on its no. side. It's injured. And this thing just came in and bit it right in the jugular. Oh, shit. Well, I, <laughs> no, you know, it is, it is what it is. Oh, poor guy. Ronaldo. Uh, no, this guy. I think it, oh, yeah, oh, go, sorry, ahead. go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I think that because it's a greater steed summon, that it does just kind of disappear, right? I would say it probably does, yeah. 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 It poops. It poops. Ronaldo. That guy Damn, climbed up this building? He did. He climbed, he got up, he climbed up here. But he can't attack. This guy is, let's see, he's gonna dash uh, right over to here. And he's gonna attack Stumpy with a confounding bite. Which is a 14. Misses. Damn, that's that's how it is. Oh wait, is it just, it's just the last one, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Attacking Stumpy, they, these guys make me sick. These fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead, Data. All right, Stumpies see that their brethren is being attacked, and so they're gonna they're gonna fucking surround this guy. Hey man, okay. that was very nice, man. <laughs> you in there, man? <laughs> oh, I don't think any of those hit. Uh, none of those hit. I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, no, no, that's not true. The very last one does. Okay. Seven. All right, Stumpy. Oh, wait, they, get a, they get a plus two, so does it 12? The 12 does hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's that okay. first one. Okay. Seven and one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, All right. Yeah. This guy's like, ow, oh, fuck. He, he just screeches a little more. And what are you up to? And, uh, oh, yeah, I guess I can attack as well. So I will, uh, I will swing at this other guy with my hand axe. Four, Hell four yeah, dude. You, you do your four damage. I'll be Dorf Bill's turn. All right. Uh, Dragul is... Are you here back yet? Yeah, yeah, Dragul's, Dragul's back. All right, Sorry go ahead, about Dragul. That again. It's your turn. All good. All right. Um, I suppose he'll start by moving 10 feet here. And he'll take uh, an attack on this guy. Okay. All right. Let me turn that off. Uh, 12 hits, though. 12 hits. Okay. So we'll do that. And does that does that seem to uh, does that seem a fatal blow? It is not fatal, but it is okay, close. Okay, well, we will infuse it. All right. With another five with, cold damage. With with Tootsie's Frost, uh, the sky freezes to death after getting cut. All right. And dies right in front of you. Dragul will move again. He'll move to, he'll move to here. And he'll make another attack on this guy. Okay. His extra attack. Okay, but you certainly hit. 
turn and that is enough turn. to slay this fiend. And he dies right in front of you as well. All right. Um, Tootsie will fly behind, screeching her screech. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm. Uh, she's gonna attack. This dork. Okay. That hits. For nine damage. All right, Roger that. Um. And I believe that will be Dragul's turn. Okay. Horus. Horus. Your poor Rhino has died. Yeah. Horus will definitely run straight towards this guy that bit his Rhino. It was this guy, right? Yeah. And you son of a bitch. And he is going to try to smite him. Now he is at disadvantage. He's going to try and smite this guy. No, you're not at disadvantage if you attack a group. Oh, it's only other other things. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Are they on the roof, though? Not these ones. That one's not, right? This ah. one's on the roof. Cool, cool. I'm going to try and hit him. For a lot of us. No, I'm sorry. Ah, but I do have an extra attack, which I will use. I'm just so furious that I swing wildly. The that first certainly time. hits. All right, and I am going to pop a first level uh, spell slot to do. He looks at you questioningly, <laughs> oh knowing gosh. he's about to die. <laughs> like I shouldn't do that. I'm. I said I was going to do it. I'm doing it. So it's this. <laughs> Uh, so it's 14 plus a 1d8. Okay. <laughs> or 1d6, right? Or, or, no, 2d6. <laughs> Man. Absolutely brutal. Uh, 22. Yes. This guy sees your hammer come down, and that's the last thing he sees. He's actually just a flat oh, splatter on Good. the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even with that, even with that, you know, yeah. he is just nothing, a puddle. He's a puddle. That's all he is. Go. That's for Ronaldo. And now I'm going to turn and look menacingly at this one. All right. The big one. Let's see if he recharges. He does not. Uh, but what he is going to do is squeeze. Actually, he's not going to. He is just going to look at Jacob Kane though and uh, attempt to slam you. He's gonna hit you one, once for the 12, which is a miss, I'm sure, and a second one, which is oh, a 15, which nice, is both misses. also probably a miss, right? Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, that's Hulk's turn. Jacob Kane, you're up. Nice try, dude. When I get done with your little bros, I'll come for you, dude. And I'm gonna swing perfection at uh, the guy above me again. All right. That hits. And that's enough. He dies. And I still hear screaming, so I'm gonna run to the loudest source of screaming and just be like, shut up, bro. <laughs> Killing the vibes, dude. And I'm gonna attempt to punch him in the face. Hell yeah. Oh, you, you punch him right in his nose. He's 15. Yeah. He really doesn't like that. And then- he, uh, Bonus attack, do it again. Yeah, you hit him again. Yeah, it, it looks like you punch out almost all of his teeth the first time, and then the final one was, a, uh, you know, the final tooth punch, and he, he just falls over backwards, dead. That's it for Jacob Kane, bros. Damn. All right, Ool. Uh, and Ool, uh, no, We'll oh, still see that guy. What's the range on blast, by the way? Uh, it's Eldritch blast, and then I got uh, um, 120. Eldritch. Extended. Yeah, but I also have Eldritch spear, which makes it 300 feet. Oh, Holy. Yes. Yeah. So. Bang Both bang baby. Hit. He's hit with a blast, and he's hit with another blast, and I guess that sends him back into the wall. Yeah. So, uh, 
Dag on. All right. 14, 19, 23. Yeah, that's all right. Damn. All right, Vendrick. All right. Uh, The shrieking's noticeably less. Yeah. You don't don't seem like you got here. I need to probably give us some of these creature things, yeah? Uh, Vendrick is going to... Three guys I can go deal with. This is like a solid yes. wooden thing, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's like a platform. Okay, it's not like a uh, what do they call that? Like a lattice or a no, it's like a it's like a stage. Okay, or a dock or a boardwalk or something. Venner's gonna gonna kip back up here to this this part. Uh, and he's gonna swipe out at this fella. All right. Uh, his blade glows uh, with that green flame once again. Uh, oh, I don't have advantage. So it's just a 20. either one. They both hit though. All right. First hit can be this. As you swipe him, the green fire consumes him, and ah. the screeching stops. Nice. All right. So that was. Pretty old only get through there. So what is Bender gonna do instead? Oh yeah, okay. So he's gonna hop down, use the rest of my movement to run here. Alright. Um bonus action. Vendor's going to reach his hand out. Telekinetic pull this guy towards it. Hell yeah. A 15. He gets sucked towards you. Right, and then snicker snack swipe with a 70. Hell yeah, that hits. Oh, not the fires. It's just the left. Even so, he was already damaged from Tootsie's bite earlier. Vendor like pulls him into the sword. Almighty pull. All right, Horace, we're cleaning up. Hell yeah, we are. Aya. All right. As a bonus action, the spiritual weapon is just going to kind of hover above the tree folks menacingly because it is an axe. As instead, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hex. Okay. As... Like this, this like the black shadows around are going to like whirl around and then go forward towards the uh, towards the Hulk. As I'm cursing the Hulk um, for, uh, I was gonna choose, ne- uh, I was gonna choose Constitution. Does anybody argue with that for disadvantage checks? Ability well, it's ability check? checks, so you probably. I don't think there is a Constitution ability check. So, I would do Dex or Strength. That's probably okay. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do Strength then. Um, strength ability checks. It has disadvantage on. Okay. As I'm gonna sh- as I'm gonna shoot my uh, my bow at it. All right. Does he have to make a save for this uh, hex or it just no, happens? He does no, not. it just happens. It's All like right. Hunter's Mark. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, longbow unfortunately misses see that as Pew. I'll end my turn all right Darrow just sails by and he's like huh? There's a lot of damage <laughs> coming over from this side <laughs> but the Gru uh damn let's see what the Gru do they are going to this one is strategically going to move uh I think he's gonna move right here he's just gonna keep shouting uh, actually, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this guy going to run down here uh, to be right next to Dragul, and he's going to confounding bite for a critical. Oh, no. For 11 damage, and you need to succeed on a DC 10. Wisdom save, Dragul. 
Okay. Um. So 13 damage and a wisdom check, a saving throw. Correct. Oh God. Not Actually, my it's day. only 11 damage. I think. 11 damage. Yeah. That's okay. okay. But uh, he does fail his wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, so attacks have advantage against you until the start of Gru's next turn. Ah, all right. But I think that's all the Gru. Uh, so Dwarfadil, you have your army of trees. You may be muted. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Dorian Gray's gone. Dragul, we're going to say it's your turn. And when... Uh, when he comes back. All right. Um, Dracul will take a stab with the broken short sword. He gets the four. Ooh. So. Oh, yeah. That hits. For, uh... 11 and the blade will glow blue for right. next, oh so only 12 that's true he's still up unfortunate um i'll tell you what um Yeah, yeah, we'll just we'll just take do the easy thing and hit him again. All right. Um, oh yeah, you hit. For and that's enough. You stab right through him, and the screeching stops. It's getting way quieter. You guys notice there's only one screecher left. Yeah, and Tootsie's gonna fly straight for it. Okay. All right, let's see here. I think Tootsie has to attack. I, I oh, yeah, sorry. It's allowed. It's, it's scream with mine. Ah! <laughs> That's just even louder. 19 hits. Uh, ignore the two. So that's only, uh, eight damage. All right. Sounds good. All right, Horace. Um, oh, unless you've got to do anything else. Nope, that's it. All right. All right, Horace. Oh, We'll move to here. All right. Sure. Um, so I think my my movement is 15 feet, I think. So I'm going to... That's so low. I know, I'm going to come here. I think it's because the dwarf plate has a strength <laughs> thing where you have to yeah. do, like, strength 20. Uh, which I might be, but I'm, I'm going to... And then I'm going to dash to get through these. I'm going to dash through these brambles, through these trees. I'm going to get here. Oh, that's dexterity right there. Yeah, which is crazy because I'm like lumbering, like you wouldn't, think, <laughs> You're like you a, wouldn't think that I was linebacker, but I am. Uh, but that's all I can do okay. <laughs> because I use my action. Uh, <laughs> okay, this guy gets his. Uh, let's see, he gets his uh, his attack back. He swing back, and he takes a step forward. Even though he, even though he probably didn't have to, uh, yeah, actually, he he actually doesn't do that. He doesn't take a step. He just stands where he is. But he does his reaping arms, and his arms swing out from around him, and it's gonna go uh, counterclockwise. So a slam on Jake, a All slam right. on Dragul, and a slam Ooh. on our friend Horus. I guess hits. everything misses Jake, but yeah, Jake just didn't bop any leave in these slams. Just, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Okay, so that's that's gonna hit me. All right, for eleven bludgeoning, and then are you hit, Horace? Yeah, twenty-three okay. will hit me, and thirteen bludgeoning on you. All right. And then both of you guys make a uh, dex a save. dex save, which unfortunately you uh, you are not in my aura, so sorry. 
But I'm in my own aura. Beautiful. I'm in the I'm in the aura and I'm feeling myself. You guys are bobbing and weaving. Nobody goes prone. Uh, but that is that is this guy's turn. Uh, Jacob Kane, you are up. That is most definitely not what's up, dude, and I'm gonna slash him and miss. Uh, that actually hits. Oh, it does? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, is he not getting disadvantaged? I'm just, I'm just barely out of range of that. Yeah. It no longer hurts my ears at this distance. <laughs> All right, for 13 <laughs> slashing. All right, I've marked it down. And I'm gonna try to kick him in the shin. That certainly hits. All right, for another eight. And uh, I'll curse myself to a uh, to a crit fail and say, "Would I lay my vengeance upon thee?" And yeah, then miss. Then you miss, <laughs> dude. Every time you monologue, it doesn't work. <laughs> but uh, Drago, you've that's got him on the D and D fact. Yeah, but it sometimes is. you just gotta happens. do it for it's the story. It's not statistics. Oh, you've got him on the ropes. What do you do from hundreds of feet away? Now, it may surprise you. I pulled what, out whoa. my gun. He pulls why out his I, finger gun. Why would I do that? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, Yeah, there we go. Summon greater demon. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'll blast <laughs> him. All right. Well, the first one certainly hit, so go ahead and roll damage. Yeah, so he only be pushed back 15 feet. Okay, well, he can't be pushed back any farther, so he's just going to take that damage. Okay, uh, you will. Yeah. And that's uh, it. All right. Easy. Vendrick of Cohen. All right, Vendrick. This guy oh, is it's... fucked up. His teeth are busted. His beard shaved. He's bruised. I could go after him, but I think Vendrick is actually going to go. Uh, well, he's he's going to head this way, so twenty feet first. Uh, he's going to go get in there, uh, uh, Horus. Oh, and oh. if you're willing, he's going to push you five feet so that you're there. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. <laughs> He pushed I mean, his horse to five feet. I could have probably moved five feet on my turn, but I don't think. He's going to go over to this fella. His sword burst in green flame. Oh. Ooh, this is going to be a nasty hit. Let's see it. Oh, my gosh. Nice. 31. How do you want to kill this guy? 31. He, uh, like, he just bolts across the battlefield his sword gets green and he just lunges forward and just stabs through his chest and then uh pulls it up just bisecting him Ooh. right before he dies this little creature goes nani <laughs> and uh falls to his death love it nani. This, is great, this is a great day <laughs> <laughs> and then for this guy yeah uh, because I do have an extra attack, but as a uh, as a blade singer, I can use a cantrip instead. So even though I'm out of movement, I can still do something. I am going to. I am going to put my hand out and sort of uh, uh, let a uh, make it like a strange symbol in this purple sort of thing shoots out into his mind. Ooh. Uh, and I'm going to mind sliver him. All right. Oh, here. There is. Shit. Not fire. There's no fire in this. He has to but make you a... psychic damage, right? Yes. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, I forgot this about the psychic good damage thing. Because it procs his psychic <laughs> oh, mirror. No. <laughs> which gives 17 psychic damage to everybody within uh 10 feet of him Ooh. so uh that would be horus uh dragul and jacob kane well um, i will say he probably still has to make the save 
You know what? Oh, I'll shoot. say he does have to make the save. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Intelligence save? It is. Yeah. All right. He has a minus two. Oh, he failed. Uh, okay. So the 17 will happen. Sorry, fellas. I Sorry, forgot. Sorry, God. <laughs> Me, Garrett, forgot. Vendrick would have remembered. That's okay. You were just doing what I, your character would do. Vendrick, Vendrick is, is ill. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! All right, I forgot Aya. that this was like this guy's whole thing. That he knew these things. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird because he's he, supposed he, to have that seer with him, but he uh, does. He does. But he doesn't. He does know. He he's fucking with us. Seventeen hit the the guy. It does. All right. Arrow straight back. to the chest. Yep. And it's gonna be eighteen. You hear a long groan. And he falls to his knees. And then on his face, dead. Oh, man. And you guys hear a cheer. The peanut gallery over here is like, hooray, we're saved. This girl, uh, Agatha, sprints around and she goes, oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you, Dwarfadil, for saving my life. <laughs> and she gives you a big hug, Dwarfadil, if you are here. Which you are not. Well, looks like the rest she of the gang is her. also pretty thankful. They're like, oh, man, we thought we were goners. Yeah, no Tiny thanks for this big guy over here. Well, well, Tiny was protecting us, but thankfully you guys showed up. Horus, dude, isn't that that guy who yeah. was a total jerk in the bar earlier? Yeah, this guy was. That guy, this the blonde guy, guy. The blonde guy hides a little bit behind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, behind. Uh, it was the blonde guy. This is the guy that was like wouldn't sell us information or anything. Right? No, this is the guy who's like no, you guys had a great on, This guy was spilling drinks on Jake and like being me. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey. Yeah, he's uh. <laughs> He's kind of like looking at the ground and kind of hiding behind Tiny. I'm going to walk behind Tiny. I'm just going to stand right next to him. He, he goes, uh, <clears throat> thanks. No problem, buddy. I pat him on the shoulder, but just like, you know, like too hard. Oh, no, like I accidentally smite. <laughs> <laughs> a little too hard. Just yeah. one damage. Yeah. Just like enough to be like asserting dominance yeah which you do especially in that heavy armor of yours yeah i'm gonna pop on my cigarette because i still look like the oracle because i'm just gonna like pass all of this oh yeah wow. we got we're escorting the oracle right now guys we will have to talk to you later but i'm glad you're all safe oh thank you yeah tiny says we thought we were goners we should take cover there may be more of them arriving soon uh, I foresee we, it. Ooh, ooh, we'll do our best, but, uh, you know, uh, Darla approaches you and says, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And she holds her hand out to you, Horus. Ooh. And, uh, do you accept? Uh, yeah. I'll, like, do I take her hand? She wants me to take her hand. It looks well, like. she's holding out a thing inside of her hand, and she oh. drops a little crystal in your hand. Uh, and it's a, you know, uh, she goes, Ooh, this might be useful to you. Yeah, these are very useful. We had one of these ones before, didn't we? We used so. any of the ones that we've yeah. gotten? We've had at least one, maybe two before, right? I believe so. I think you maybe used one. But that was... I, 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 I think El Chad has them. El Chad has the big one. Yeah, El Chad has the... Oh, that's right. Say. There was a major one. Yeah. El Chad has the one where if you die, it, it will respawn you, basically. Hell yeah. It'll Shit, rewind I forgot time. About that. I know, I, I, I had to remember it because when you guys were fighting Ragnar, I was like, oh shit, if El Chad dies, 
we might have a rewind. <laughs> <laughs> the whole, the whole adventure is different. Well, the long rest was very far in the past, so I was a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am going to I'm going to lick this dream frag. Okay. Are you are you imagining any kind of a potion while you lick it, or are you just licking it? Well, I'm not trying to change anything. I just want to see what it tastes like. Okay. It's salty, weirdly. Hmm. Interesting. I will I'll tuck it into my armor, which is like very moisty. Okay. <laughs> I suggest we make you. haste. Oh yes. Well, oh no more that hasty. Run. We're gonna run in the direction that uh, they're not gonna know, seem safest. We're we're probably actually just gonna hide inside this house. Oh well, maybe the oracle could tell you how to survive because she knows the future. Oh, oracle, would you answer a question? <laughs> oh, here, they, hold they, on. They, it's kind of an hold emergency. On. And it's... Vendrick walks up and he kills this one that was trying to hide amongst them. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you again. <laughs> Thank you no again. Problem. They say Oracle and looking at you, Aya, they say, we don't have a ticket, but how can we survive? The city's overrun. And you actually do hear huge explosions and fighting like farther in the city. There's still a lot of people around. And the volcano was north, right? Northeast. Uh, Northeast, 300, 300 miles. miles. Sorry. As the crow flies. As the, as the group we're, flies. We're, we're on as the, the ocean. rock flies. We're on the ocean, right? Uh, no. Okay. There's a river next to you, but you're not on any ocean. Gather all you can and take the river south. As far as it goes. Tiny or Gnome says, oh, good. I didn't want to leave all my stuff here. Guys, let's go back. And, uh, you know, all the merchants sort of uh, agree. And they uh, they go, thank you, Oracle. Thank you. And they run all uh, back in the direction of their, uh, of their stuff. And they go, you know, just... The Oracle out said things. we've got plenty of time to collect all our belongings. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's supposed to be some like uh, romantic, if not sexual, tension between Dorfadil and this lady, but Ool is standing right next to them. <laughs> <laughs> he just has her arms around Dorfadil. Uh, Data, are you and back? Dorfidil, or are you still gone? Dorfidil's just t posing. <laughs> Dorfidil's t posing just, because he doesn't know what to do. In this she's situation. just hugging him, hugging, hugging. Yeah. She's oh, like, Dustin's thank you, Dorfidil. Stuff. So <laughs> Wool is just staring. Yeah. Dorfidil, thank you. You're my my hero. And uh, she looks over at you, Wool, and like looks you up and down and goes, What are you looking at? Haven't you ever seen two people in love before? Ool is also T-posing because he's gone, it seems like, as well. Ugh. Ugh. She steps back disgusted. Uh, Ool is just, like, staring. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Ugh. Alas, unrequited love. And she I goes, know, get out of my a, way, you dumb that trees. A, that could be a real bummer, huh? My name's Horace. Oh. As she bumps by the trees, they go, hey, man. Hey man, hey man, hey man. Hey man. Goes, oh, uh, were, were you in that battle or something? Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, well. No uh, big deal. Saved your life. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure you did a lot. Uh, My rhino <clears throat> died. Yeah, Dwarfadil, she goes, look what Dwarfadil did. And then she goes to these, uh, these stumpies and is just caressing them. She goes, beautiful creatures, aren't they? Yeah, man. And she... Me. She's like petting their uh, their furry, well, their leafy the heads. Foliage. I want to point out he said they made long sword attacks, so these are like trees with knives. Yeah, they are. 
<laughs> Look at their faces. They're so cute. And then, you know, she she gives them a caress. She's like, well, thanks to the rest of you, uh, I'm off to go get all my stuff. We'd uh, love since... to see you here, but we hate to see you leave. <laughs> You're such great creatures. And, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, yeah, she leaves. Vendrick's going to... Um, or she's going to say, well, the there's bill. obviously something wrong with that woman. And hold him under his arm since Dorvadil is deposing, it seems. <laughs> we should probably put him in the going. lantern. Let's put him in the lantern. <laughs> Such Ooh, a good you spell. there? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm back. Yeah. Uh, we're moving forward. Dorvadil's deposing. Jean? We should probably get going. I'm not carrying him. All right. <laughs> and Dwarf, or, uh, Vendrick's going to, like, take some rope and, like, strap Dwarfadil to his back. Wow. That's what a true friend would do. That's I'll, teamwork. I can carry him. Like when uh, I was Horace will baby draw, backpacks. Horace will draw a penis on his forehead, as but, is tradition in the paladin. Before you say yeah. anything, I have to be in the lamp, too. Yeah. All right. Dwarfadil is securely strapped to... Uh, I don't want to go back in. To uh, Tootsie's back. Yeah. Okay. He may have blown me up, but he's part of the team. All right. That's it. Very, very noble and forgiving of Tootsie after being incinerated. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, well, the party, uh, you know, obviously looks around and sees that the uh, the Oracle and her bodyguard are actually nowhere to be found. You don't see them. They must have slipped away in the fight. When when we ran this way, they, they ran a different way, I'm assuming. Must have been. Mm -hmm. That's um, what Vendrick thinks, at least. I'm sure they're fine. They're fine. She can see the future. She yeah. knows what to do. All right, uh, let me bring you guys over. You guys go on your merry way. It shouldn't seem, should be merry. I mean, it is pretty spooky. There's there's certainly a long scale battle going on. Do you think about uh, the right. fact that the the oracle has like all this money and stuff, big library? Like, do you think she used her oracle powers to like win the lotto? Oh, absolutely. Like the real lotto with money. Yeah. At least once, dude. At least once. Yeah, you only need one. And and the town. No, you know what it was. The town was like, "Listen, we don't have enough money to let you keep winning the lotto. So, <laughs> what if the lotto was a fortune telling from you, and we'll just pay you?" And that's sort of how that relationship, I feel like, came yeah. To and be. she knew that they were going to do that, which is why she wanted. She kept winning the lotto until they did. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, Horace is going to lay hands on himself as we're walking in here. He's going to sort of caress himself a little bit. Go into a corner. Bro, get a room. <laughs> oh, here, Horace. Yeah. Come here. Uh, and he is going to draw a rune and then uh, tap it onto Horace. I'm going oh. To cast, uh, long Strider. Now I can go 25 feet. Wow. How long does that help? last? An hour. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's a super good spell. Figure I think at least it's, for a little while. I feel like Dragul and Tootsie's long strider is still going. Oh, certainly. It certainly yeah. is. So all right now. Well you on. guys you guys continue on your way. Uh and you know, as you're walking, you're getting closer and closer to uh Bradshaw's estate. You eventually come there. And uh, I'm going to say you all walk through the gate right here. Is there? And oh, I was going to say, there must be quite the commotion. The, and what do you see? I mean, Jacob Kane and Horace, of course, you recognize Gluttony standing right in front of the estate with... Oh, uh, dang. I don't have with aberrations music. killed all around him. He does look injured 
uh, and breathing heavily, but, uh, but yeah, you, I mean, you do, you see him here and he's just, he's we just kinda, standing. We kind of knew that this guy was a secret demon or a devil, right? I don't know that I, our I would characters say it's, did. It's certainly, it's certainly been implied. Oh, the characters didn't though. Uh, I, I would say that it, it's, it's been implied, you know? Uh, we're not Bradshaw has Bradshaw has a uh, spooky abilities, and people don't really trust him. And uh, I think you also know that going to jail is essentially is sometimes a death sentence because some people go to jail and are never seen again. And I think somebody mm -hmm. said in the bar that they thought that Bradshaw has something to do with it. You need um, them. <laughs> something, something's happening. Does this look like the devil that I saw summoned? No, it does not. This one was oh. already here. He used to be wearing like armor or something, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so there was more than well, just two. Well, being the oracle that I am, I'm just going to keep the persona that I am the oracle. I've already seen this happen. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by this at all. So is he like hey, eating the dead that. aberrations or is he just No. He is it looks like he has just recently killed them. Okay. Uh like like uh you know, it it appears that he's standing guard outside the front. Um, well, let's confront him. This guy uh he snorts and growls, and he say, also he hey. takes a step towards you, and uh, you hear. We made a deal guess, with this guy last time, right? No, I thought we killed you, dude. Uh, let's see. You guys hear? Do hear a familiar voice though? Uh, and she says, "She goes, oh. calm down, gluttony. These aren't the people that we're supposed to be fighting." And uh, Lust pops out of the pops out of the house to come talk to you guys. And Aya, uh, you recognize this woman as the one that you saw in the dream who came back. Oh, okay. So this is the one I saw the vision. Yes. She uh, looks over at Gluttony and says, "Clean this mess up, please." And uh, he gets to work dragging these foul creatures off to the side and uh you know clean it making things <laughs> presentable it, i mean it looks like he did a lot of work over here uh and she sort of walks forward to you guys uh and she goes you again she goes now which one of you has my ring Which one of us have is it, it any of you? Well, Wasn't it me? None of us have it, dude. I think yeah. Zen's got it because he got he tricked the paladins to giving him the ring. And oh yeah, yeah, back. that's right. I'm gonna take a five foot step that way, indicating I don't your, have it. Your ring's not in this realm, lady. Really? That's unfortunate. And we well, wouldn't give it to you if it was. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I don't like when you talk to me like that, Horus. Well, I've been redeemed. And what does that mean? That means I'm not tempted to look at your boobies. She, uh... She, uh man. Avert your gaze, Horus! Avert, Avert your gaze! Avert your gaze, Horus! You notice, you notice that he is chinning... He is tilting his chin up and, like, maintaining eye contact with her. Okay. She's like, very, very good of you. You know, and she walks down here and just sort of like takes a look at all of you uh, and essentially walks the line. Mm -hmm. You see sweat uh, drip from Horace's brow. <laughs> she takes a step back over to Horace and she goes, oh, I do like your armor. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good at Sea Dwarf Plate. Touches it with one finger. Mm -hmm. And she goes, are you sure you're not tempted? Nope. Not oh, at all. You're not sure. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Well, 
Look, I'd love to sit here and chat, but we have a house to defend. I, why did you guys come here? Didn't you? Haven't you seen that the city's under attack? How is it that you are bound here, protecting this place? That's none of your business. Well, look, lady, dude, we gotta, we gotta speak to Bradshaw just... about some very important things. All right. You gotta speak to Bradshaw. Well, yeah. do you have an appointment? And the Oracle. Yeah. Tell him to clear his schedule. Tell him to clear his schedule. As far as I'm aware, I can go to him at any point. He comes to me with a ticket. Let's see. Uh, I would say that that sort of speech is out of character for the Oracle. Is there any check that she can do to to determine? Be a deception. Ooh, a performance. Yeah, yeah, deception. A insight. Or... Yeah, do a performance check, Aya. Oh, I guess deception. Okay. Sorry. Uh, oh, performance. <laughs> I'm just going to say that, uh, well, let's see. Uh... I gotta find the. I gotta find uh, our girl. There we are. There she is. And she's gonna do a little perception. She's pretty good at that. Uh, but she goes, oh, oh wow, the Oracle. I, you know, I, you're totally right. I mean, times are pretty dire, but uh, I guess you can come. And she looks over at Gluttony. She's like, let them pass. And she goes, uh, don't worry. The uh, the house is a little bit cluttered, but uh, you know I'm sure it'll be I'm sure it's fine. Uh, so I'm going to reveal. Oh man, fancy! Oh man, very fancy! fancy. And uh, I'm gonna grab that token layer. Um. That also... Vedric will walk up to Horus, like, you have dealings with these uh, devils, I assume? We we had a run-in with them before, yeah. We, uh, we hunted them uh, for a bounty. Like, bounty hunters? Mm. We'll walk well, she opens the door and she's like, well, I thought we killed them, to be honest with you. We did, dude. Killing yeah. outer beings such as demons and devils can be rather complicated. It doesn't yeah. stick unless you do it just right. Lead us not to temptation, dude. And deliver us some righteous beer, bro. Tootsie will, right stick, beer. Tootsie will stick her tongue out at gluttony as we go by. He growls a growl that basically shakes the ground a little bit, but uh, oh. Venerable oh, will say to Horus too, just like we'll, we'll wait yeah. at him and just say yo as he walks by. Devils and demons are hard to fully slay, hence why most of the time people just settle for sealing them in rocks and bottles and such. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Maybe we should try to seal them in a rock this time. Who is this to our left here? That Raph, is. I believe. Say that again. That is an Aranees. No, that is an Aranees. Ah. Uh, the that is a summon that Lust brought in. That was Lust it. has the ability to to bring in reinforcements. Um, she calls out. She's like, Henry, you have visitors. And she sort of like walks over here. And you know, seductively, lay, uh, leans against the wall. And uh, Snort goes. You see Snort come out of the corner, and he's like, "My friends." Oh, it's this little shit. <laughs> Let's see. This is uh, most definitely goes, not what's up, dude. He goes, I will they play that baby. I, I believe you've. I believe you all have met. Uh, this is envy. They flayed uh, that baby. 
<laughs> my name is Henry Bradshaw. Um, and uh, what are you doing here? I'm sure you all or imagine that we're not exactly uh, on good terms. No Oracle sent us here. And How is that gonna, possible? As I'm just going to puff on my cigarette and just kind of look at him. Yeah, dude. Uh, she said you could help he's us gonna go, leave this uh, city and get back to our home. She did? And, and she sort of like looked... You're... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, and apparently you're equally in danger. Well, I can see that. I mean, this you know, our city is being attacked. It's kind of a wonder that the Oracle didn't warn anybody. I'm sure she saw it coming years ago. Actually, I'm glad that she's right here with us. And he walks up to you and asks you directly. He said, why didn't you warn anyone? As I, I'm just going to like. He's talk. staring at you really intently. And then I'm just going to. Is he at like my height or is this the kid? Like, is he like, do I need to look down? Uh, he's he's an adult man. Okay. As I'm like, I'm gonna take the cigarette out and then just kind of like blow it in his face. It's because you didn't ask. Oh, that's a good answer. Oh damn, that's just what oh, that's a good say. answer. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Ugh. oh, you expect me to spend my ticket that I spent so much time and effort getting to ask you something like that. I mean, how could I have possibly known? But no matter, we can defend ourselves. And uh, he goes, what do you think? And he motions to this uh, circle that he's made on the on the ground. Can I do uh, an arcana check? Yeah. Hendrick will do. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure that's a sin. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Take it from me, Bradshaw. You don't want to do dealings with devils. Oh, you we're far mean. beyond that. Uh, Vendrick, with an 18, you know that this is a particularly good summoning circle. You don't fully understand it, but you know uh, that this, this takes some very serious skill, and it is not for summoning a demon like, or a devil like lust or gluttony. It's for Would summoning it a. A greater devil. Ooh. Greater than uh, lust, huh? Did Vendrick, is it safe for him to walk up just a little bit? Yeah, you can walk up a little bit. All right, he he uh, rubs his uh, his beard as he walks up. Well, it's high quality. Your marksmanship is, uh, or your penmanship is uh, spectacular. Huh. Thanks. Do you have any experience? I dabble in many things things in the occult we've all dabbled in a bit of necromancy mm. you used high quality chalk oh actually and he goes i actually have you all to thank for this that's the horn of the chimera that you're looking at powdered of course but uh course, should be enough you oh, maybe we shouldn't have gave him that guys it'd be a shame if uh somebody messed it all up dude with their toe or something. He goes, yes, it would be a shame. Um, but anyways, I don't recommend it. Okay. Based on what I see, like, and considering it's not doing anything, it seems like right now. Yeah. Is there like a, a wind up time, which is why nothing is happening currently or he's going to need time to do something. Um, with an 18, you would know that this isn't the kind of thing that you just snap your fingers mm -hmm. and uh, out pops pride, for example, you know, or whoever, right? Some greater demon. It, it, this is a, 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 a fairly involved process. Um, and in, and in fact, he goes, old man, you know as well as I do that uh, 
I better get going on this. So why don't you all tell me what you're doing here? And, uh, or leave me alone. Those aberrations are, uh, looking to disrupt your little circle here. They seem to know about it. Yeah, I imagine they do. I'm sure they've sent spies here. Does the name Lucid ring a bell? Not particularly. And what about you, uh, Blade Baby? <laughs> Do you recognize the name? Are you talking about, uh, who, who are you talking to? Baby. <laughs> oh, Blade Baby? Okay. No, Flay uh, Blade Baby. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I gotta post the picture of Snort just because I'm happy with it. I love that picture. Uh, yeah, he looks at you and he's like, Lucid? Uh, yeah, I know, I know him. He's a, he's he's a he's a he's a, a, a big enemy. He's a pretty he's a pretty bad dude, by the way. Uh, what is he? What is he? I mean. You saw his soldiers. I mean, he's an aberration. A nasty one. He's a, a mothman, dude. One. No kidding. He's a, you know, what you would say, a demonic aberration. Uh, you know, it goes back millions and millions of years, of course. But, uh, you know, I'm sure most of you understand that uh, devils and demons, we, we don't exactly get along. Yeah, it's the whole chaotic in order, or chaos in order. Yes, of course. Um, but yeah, he's probably going to try to kill us. Uh, you know, so... It sounds like uh, our help. The Oracle we foresaw need your this help? Coming. Yeah. Well, I, 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 you could help by stop distracting my master. Besides, haven't you already harmed him enough? And uh, Snort kind of, like, hints at it. And then uh, he decides not to hint at it anymore. He goes, you know, when you killed his uncles. Yeah, I saw you do it firsthand. We didn't. Henry looks at you guys. And he goes, what? You Cornelius? He goes, yeah, that one right over there killed, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, what was his name? It started with the B. It was like Barnabas yep. or something. He's like, that one over there killed the potion guy who was a uh, chain to the, the cauldron and the rest of them. Well, I guess not all of them, but especially those two killed Cornelius. And then they killed me, the nerve. See, when he says the lying. nerve, his voice goes like, the nerve. It's surprising coming out of a little guy like this. Yeah, See, that's bro. how you know he's lying. We can do it again. Dead. He goes, ah. Or we can settle bad blood another time. The Oracle knew that this was all going to happen, and to send us here means she knows that you need our help, whether you like the idea or not. Okay, well, I am a businessman, I assume. Temporarily. Say that again. How about we put grudges aside temporarily? He sort of strokes his chin a little bit. He goes, you know, I am not my uncle's, even though it may look like I am. Uh, I, I don't particularly care for them. But they are family, and that is a grudge. Hmm. Hey, if it's any consolation, well, dude, they tried to kill us first, bro. Snort actually uh, puts his finger up in the air and opens his mouth, and uh, he goes, "Well, that's that's only half true." Uh, but uh, Cornelius again, he's thinking. He goes, "Fine." I, I, you know. You know as well as I do that Lucid is a a bad dude. I you know, I don't know him personally or anything, but my associates have told me about him. 
Uh, and we need some, uh, we need more firepower if we're going to survive, really. But I assume. Oh, Vendrick will, I guess to add to that fire, he'll, he'll take a gander at, uh, at lust, I imagine. And Glutton, who's out here looking kind of weak. I take it after their defeat, they still haven't fully reconstituted. Uh, Lust says, what? No, we just fought off like 15 aberrations. There'll be more, I promise you that. She's and not you lost wrong. to a handful of people. Doesn't sound like you're quite the lust I've heard. <clears throat> she actually, uh, looks angry at you for the uh for the insult um, I, and vedrick is goading by the way <laughs> yeah yeah she's mad uh but the ironies gets worry. a little bit the ironies gets a little bit closer she senses that uh, yeah, vedrick will, will say don't worry if you want to sit this one out you can excuse we'll me and they the two get closer to you and uh <laughs> Uh, Henry, he goes, stop it. Now, ladies. And they, and they, you know, they sort of realize yeah. and they take a step back and he goes, he goes, I, yeah, I'm probably going to need more time than any of these can give me. We can buy you time at the cost of something you probably want, which is us to leave you alone. For now. <laughs> what do you guys want? A ticket home. A ticket home. Oh, of course. You're not actually from here. Where are you from? Bellport. <laughs> I love the idea that Oris just blurts out his hometown. <laughs> because... <laughs> because uh, he goes, uh, Shellport, huh? Hmm. Well, I'll keep that in mind. And uh, don't show your face around there. You'll be in trouble, I'll tell you that. You'll be in trouble, huh? <laughs> uh, let's see. We don't take kindly to folks that make summoning circles and spawn demons and such around <laughs> Shellport, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Although our mayor is a undead uh, vampire. Oh, Unconfirmed. you guys aren't too far from, uh, not too different from here, actually, funnily enough. He goes, well, you want a ticket home, and, uh, I suppose you all want to go to Shellport? He goes, tell me, where exactly do you want to go? You'll have to tell me. The la uh, Adventurer's Landing Tavern. That's hilarious. We need All right. to wait, find, wait a minute, we need dude. To find this he, pin yep. Yeah, where was he? Was he in Talonbrian or somewhere else? Or do we even know, dude? I don't oh, think wait. We Should know. we go somewhere else? Should we go to Talonbrian? I think, <laughs> funnily enough, going to Adventures Landing is probably the best option, right? Because then everybody can kind of regroup a little. Horace just wants to go home. He forgot what we were doing. How far away is the <laughs> other party again? They're at um, Talonbrian. So they're, you know, that distance away. They're on an island right out the coast of it. Okay. So not too far. They were already halfway to Talon or to Shellport anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. What do you guys? Should we go to, to the beach? We go back to the beach. We go back to <laughs> Shebethany. We're we'll Shebethany. Go the, we'll go to the mud pit. We'll go to the <laughs> the muck men. Can we go to the muck? We want to go to the muck. Yeah, we can hire the, the mob to help us save me. The frog pond. Well. We could. Then, all... Yeah, we're... go ahead. You're going to say something. I imagine he's just waiting for us to tell him where we want to go. And we're just. He is. He's, he's just... like weird ass place. Like, what if we went to the muck? Well, we could also <laughs> just like go back to where our med is in the dream we just aren't there no nah, dude we got to leave this vast dream to find pinion so i don't think he's gonna be there dude 
Yeah. The Oracle did say you need to leave the vast stream. Yeah, we should go back to reality. Oops, right, there let's, goes let's, gravity. I'd say Adventure's Watch your Landing the best, like, middle ground. What is Talon, Brian? Adventure's Landing. Adventure's Landing? Yeah. You know, Andrew Gould looks at Tootsie. I do need a drink. Let's go to the bar. <laughs> you heard it. Dragul yeah. looks at all the 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 major demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are going to the bar. <laughs> yeah, you guys see like really creepy uh, paintings on the wall from like previous generations of Bradshaw. It's a uh, it's an obviously empty. It's a pretty empty house, you know, aside for these guys. Uh, and one of the paintings at the bottom says Dorian Gray. It does. <laughs> it says dun, Dorian dun, dun. Gray. Are, are any of them tapestries? You do see a tapestry, actually. It's back here. Um, and uh, looking at it, you see that it looks like... Let's see. Uh... Okay, well, it looks like a tapestry showing a vast battlefield. Uh, everything has been, you know, smashed. There's armor everywhere, siege engines, weapons of war, and there's huge comets going through the sky uh, that are uh, red and black smoke. Uh, it, it looks like total chaos. Um, if you'd like to inspect it more, uh, yes. Aya, if you would make a Arcana check, okay, and also a History check. Really? But unfortunately, no. <laughs> unfortunately, you look at it and go, "Huh?" And you go, and uh, <laughs> you know, Vendrick, if you would like to look at it as well uh no i think vendrick's more preoccupied with like all right bradshaw what do we need done all right all right well i need time and you need to go home we're gonna be attacked soon enough uh probably an all-out assault i need you to keep them out of here they want to take me away, to put it bluntly. Um, and I need to bring in a heavy hitter. I'm going to be focused on the summoning ritual. And I need you and your friends to guard this uh, guard this house. You really need more security? You, uh, Lust looks at you and goes, you have no idea. Do you have any healing potions? Then it's a deal. The Ard's Marauders are at your service. And he puts his hand out to shake his hand. Bradshaw looks at you and uh, he smiles and he gives you a big shake. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it feels it, like everybody gets an idea that th that was like a serious deal. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he... he he shakes your hand and he goes, all right. And he, he walks over here and he looks and he, he says, all right, which one of, which one of you are, uh, magically inclined? Quick thing, quick side thing. Yes. As, as he walks away, Vendrick's going to step up and go, you, to snort. Yeah. And he's going to dig into his pocket and he's going to pull out something. See this? As he holds up a pair of dice. Ooh. These are magic dice. Yeah. Very good if you want to gamble. And very good if you want to win. You play nice with us, you can have. Them. Oh. Okay. He's really excited. He's sort of like right. jumping up and down, and he's kind of like. You know, he has like cat eyes, and when he sees the magic dice, they uh, they the pupils dilate. 
you know, like he really wants that. Then it's he goes, all deal. right. And he uh, he puts the dice in his hand. And gives Snort the fishy dice that he got wow. when he first got here. Excellent. All right. Snort goes, it's a, it's a deal. Um, and you're a devil, so you can't go back on your deal. Oh, that's Vendor true. It was all about that. <laughs> yeah. <the> whole point. <laughs> it's a deal. He's not going to sabotage you. Yeah, purposely, and this is, of this is not out of nowhere, right? Because last time we were here, we ran into him that Bender pretty much surmised was him. Yeah. Now that he sees him talking. And he did say he wanted magic items. So. He loves magic shit. All right. He's got cool dice that he can cheat people out of gambling with. Perfect. I actually don't think that that's uh that's a uh, out of character. That no, that that probably doesn't work according to devil law. They <laughs> would people have to anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, Brad. Well, no, because it would be. It's all in the fine print, right? He's like, we're gonna roll these dice. It's and in the if fine I print. Get, and if I get the sevens, then I win. Yeah. And it doesn't Ooh. say that the dice has to be not loaded. I think I, I want to say those dice have a command word or something or like something you do. You can choose to do it or not. So, yeah, if you can oh, give somebody tricky. them. But if they don't know it, then they can't get the sevens. Uh, almost always landing on five and six. Oh. You just got to swap them in. Uh, But anyways, Bradshaw, he goes... All right. Well, how about I tell you how to get home first? And uh, he sort of points over and takes his hand and he, he caresses the tapestry. Do you see this? This is my portal to Avernus. And, uh, you know, those of you who know a thing or two about devils, I'm sure Horace would. And, you know, oh, yeah. probably Horace and Jacob and, sure. and Vendra because he, he dabbles, you know. Yeah. You guys look at it and you go, oh, yeah, that's hell. That's uh, that's the first layer. Um, mm -hmm. And he says, come here, Horace. I will go. I walk around the summoning circle, though. Very, very polite. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he goes, all right. Now, I want you to put your hand on this tapestry and close your eyes. All right, I do it. Okay. Uh, Horace, you feel a little bit of magic in your hand, and you feel somehow a little bit of a connection to this, uh, you know, whatever you're touching. Uh, now, you hear Henry say to you, I want you to imagine the bar that you want to go to in Shellport in your mind's eye with as much detail as possible. And I want you to tell me what you see. I see a little goblin serving watered down ale to my friend El Chad, who respects me and thinks that I'm great. And some other characters. Uh, I love there's... this because, like, Nasty Taters <laughs> probably doesn't know how to order more alcohol. Yeah, so he's just been <laughs> slowly watering it down. <laughs> I see uh, some patrons. One's passed out under a bar, under the bar. Uh, you know, uh, it seems like. The, swore, the floor hasn't been swept in a while. Maybe the chores aren't getting done. But I see a hole in the wall where we we threw we threw that one guy out that one time, whose name I forget. And there's a homeless man sleeping behind the bar. Uh, yeah. Who uh, we all just kind of ignore. It's it's winter now, so he's like yeah, like he's cold, rim, and he's like he's knocking <laughs> on the window. Yeah, very good, Come in. very good. 
uh, and the rest of you see the tapestry sort of warping and the colors on it shifting and changing. Uh, and as Horace is describing it, um, the, the what he's describing sort of comes to life on the tapestry. Uh, and after a few moments, it looks exactly like the bar that you all, well, which of you actually know about this bar? Uh, the the bar that Horace remembers, and I guess Aya. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the, the, he goes, Horace, you can open your eyes now. And All right. You, you know, you open your eyes and you're no longer staring at a picture of hell. You're, um, you see your bar there. He goes, yeah. okay, fine. He goes, I'll say this. It'll, here's your portal to where you want to go. Now, I'm sure you see that it's still just a tapestry, but, you know, tapestries are how we, you know, tend to get around in the dreamscape, so to speak. And he goes, uh, he walks over to his bookcase over here. Um, he grabs a book and he, he goes, excuse me, to Tootsie. And he walks back around. And he wow. hands this book to Aya. Mm-hmm. As I'm just gonna like, I like, I I take it from him. All right. It's Henry's shadowy book. He goes. Mm. Now this isn't a portal uh, for you to just, you know, go through willy nilly. This will send you back to where you're, to the location that's on this. Um, but I mean, it it will take that ritual to open up the portal. So, I need you to start that ritual when I start the summoning ritual. That way, I have uh, trust that you guys won't just run through the portal and leave me here to die now that I've done you guys my part of the bargain. So, he goes, he claps his hands and he goes, that being said, if you guys wouldn't mind uh, shoring up the defenses... Uh, and sort of uh, while I uh, prepare the ritual. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. I'll get, I'll get my things. And, uh, you know, so he goes back to his little magic thing. He lights a candle. Should we uh, just jump through? <laughs> surprisingly a couple no, of you guys have seen a candle like this before uh it just it stands up and uh after it's been lit and it floats over next to him kind of ominously it's pretty spooky um but yeah i think we're gonna i think we're gonna end it there tonight and we'll have mm-hmm. the climax next week oh man hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah but if you guys want to do i mean we obviously we have 10 minutes if you guys are shoring up the defenses and want to snoop or you know whatever for some you know some time of, of course yeah we'll uh, figure it out free board up we the probably windows. don't have a ton of time yeah no he's getting started basically right now oh. uh and uh of course you guys hear a huge roar in the distance uh and you know Question. you guys know it's coming does helping him by you know protecting him while he's doing this demon this devilish summoning will that count as committing an evil act oh, oh that's a good point we'll have to think about that next time <laughs> next Dragon time Ball, I, I, I want you I, yeah i gotta hear uh like i think i, I think gotta... <laughs> attempting to use the spell book is definitely an evil act because it said it's like an evil spell or something yeah. yeah, but I don't have but to do that necessarily. But you're not doing it, you know? Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm just thinking if, if if we're helping him be able to summon, like, Pride or somebody, or Wrath or whoever. That seems pretty evil, too. That yeah. could be, you know. As of, as of right now, as the one who is holding the book and has, has a high chance to be able to roll the save, I... 
will let you know what I'm thinking right now. And so I'm either going to try to use Divine Intervention to hopefully will that his ritual fails and we are successful. Oh. Or I would like to see if I can will the portal to open on one round instead of three, because it literally is Divine Intervention. And no, it just kind of, and it and it kind of takes us where we want to go. You you use divine intervention, right? So like, uh, you you alter the summoning circle, and it doesn't summon the devil, the demon, or whatever he wants. It summons me art. It summons huh. it summons a, another entity, one of Ul's demons, and it's it's fucking uh, <laughs> it's Talos. He's here. Oh no, oh god, <laughs> and he's pissed. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's it's not a bad idea. But I also have no idea what's going on with that. Huh. Yeah. Lore wise, by the way, if you'd like to know, even though this is this will not happen, but if it did happen, these devils would probably shit a couple bricks. Because Talos is known to them. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, now I actually kind of want to try that. <laughs> big big uh, boss. Guys. It's going to be a problem if I'm, you uh, break the fun. devilish pact. I know you got to yes. go, Brad. But <laughs> Yeah. No, this is a good oh, session. Yeah. I'm looking good, forward I'm to glad. next week. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I got to play my song. Oh yeah, we need the, the outro song. So oh, who's yeah. got who's got oh no, Shit. more wise one of the things I have is that when uh when the demons and stuff came to the mortal realm, Talos fucking killed a shitload of them. <laughs> like killed killed them. Yeah, see, we talked about it's real hard to kill the devil and demons. Because they just when go you're back a... to hell as a Lemur. If they're killed outside of hell. Yeah. They go as back as like a, a Lemur. A little yeah. a little slug. It's why He's... most of the time, like, lore-wise, the way they explain it is, like, if you see, let's say, there is, like, a, you know, or what, what is the one? Like, Zariel. Like, when Zariel is in the mortal plane... It's not her. It's a simulacrum of her. Mm -hmm. Right? That way Because if, if she dies... dies in the mortal realm, she would become like a Lemure and have to like re-evolve up to Zariel again. Damn. How long do you think that yeah. would take? It hmm. depends because um, it's all like soul-based. So a lot of the... Uh, devils actually have like other basically dealings right the implication is that like hey if i die in the mortal realm and come back as lemur your our contract is you have to give me a shitload of souls so i can become me again oh like, so it's like dark souls cool me. yeah you gotta power level me is basically what it is yeah and if you don't then the uh i believe the irony is coming to kill you yeah the Aranese are the big, like, enforcers. As, yeah. a heads, as a heads up, um, I'll be out of the state next week, but I'll try to hop on. I'll have my laptop with me. All right. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Hopefully I won't have the problems that I had this week. But, uh, oh, cool, man. Yeah, it's a bummer, but it's okay. Really, don't worry about it. This is where Dragul's gonna shine. I just want to kill Snort so bad. <laughs> oh, I kill Dude, him. you guys just want to break your devilish contract. Hey, dude. only Vendrick shook hands, so that is true. At this point, but he did Jake... say Mayard's Marauders. Yes, he did. I might have and to temporarily I'm... renounce my uh, my membership. Your membership. Marauders. You're gonna have well, to throw no. your ring away. If, I'm sorry to wanna... say, but sometimes you just need to make deals with the devil. If sometimes you wanna... it's just on you. If you want to put a little little twist on it. If you want to like make Vendrick a lot more clever than what I had actually planned, 
<laughs> Miard's Marauders is, as we've confirmed, not a real thing. It was just a made-up thing we made up when we came here. <laughs> it was, it's not a now you're arguing the difference. Like, words have no meaning. Words have no meaning. I love that, dude. That's so funny. All oh. right, y'all. I got a split. See you, man. But it was a blast. Y'all have a great night. I'll see you next week. Oh. Next week. On that note, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more devilish uh, debauchery, dudes, uh, from the Adventures Landing. <laughs>